Ted Decker, congratulations. Your work has secured your place in the Forge and Fire final. When you arrived here, you forged a signature blade of your own design. Now we're sending you home to forge an iconic weapon from history. The Tabar. It's not a sword. <laughs> the Tabar is a battle axe originating from Persia, Armenia, India, and surrounding cultures. Usually made entirely of metal, it has a strongly curved blade and a hammer-headed pole that was often decorated with inscriptions. The light metallic handle is what makes the axe unique and durable in battle. During the 17th and 18th centuries, the tabar was a standard weapon of the mounted warriors of India, Afghanistan, and what is now Pakistan. With its double-edged blade and piercing spike, it was an unrelenting weapon of war. This fierce weapon is featured in the iconic film series, The Lord of the Rings. You will have five days at your home forge to complete your work. At the end of five days, you will return and present your tabars to our panel of judges. Only after they've submitted those weapons to a series of brutal and dynamic tests will they declare one of you the Forged and Fire champion and the recipient of a $10,000 check. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. My name is Ted Thompson. I split my time between knife making and tattooing. Been a knife fanatic my whole life, and I just started blacksmithing to see if I could. Today, I'm gonna work on the handle. There's a lot to think about on getting everything put together the right way. <clears throat> right now, just a really, really long eye poker. I decided to make an axe head out of an eight pound sledgehammer head. It's a very good high impact steel. I want to be able to chop a car in half with this thing, so. I'm gonna do an asymmetrical double headed. One blade's gonna be a little bit heavier than the other. I'm fullering the metal so it spreads wide so I can start building the beards of the blade. Cool profile, too. I don't have a forge big enough to fit the, the axe fully assembled. So I used the front of the forge and my cutting torch and got it up to critical. And then I quenched one side and then the other. Sweet. Yep. She's hard. It'll be ready to go. I'm Decker. I work as a computer security consultant. Blacksmithing and knife making is sort of a sideline that I do as a little bit of therapy. Planning on doing some pattern rolling for this project. If it's worth making, it's worth making in Damascus. This piece here is going to turn into a long bar of steel, similar to this. That'll then get cut up into sections so I can stack multiple layers together in a billet to weld. Time to get this steel starting to look less like a lump of stuff and more like an ax inside the mind of a madman. I'm going into the press to do the very first fullering operation. Defining moment, I start to squish. And just that right there probably saved me 45 minutes. Definitely a little more sexy than what I left with yesterday. Now I've got the spike in the forge, and I've got to get that drawn out. Good gravy. Spike is gonna make this thing heavier than hell. I'm behind what I had set myself for a schedule. I've got a lot to figure out, and I've still got a lot to do tomorrow. Certainly hope nothing goes wrong, but and failure's not an option. Well, let's go kill something. Sweet. Abs done. From hell or high water, that's it. Blades of Bits, this is the kill test. The Tabar's three sharp sides allows for three times the chances of killing an opponent in the heat of battle. To test the lethality and function of your weapon, 
and we'll test all three sides by chopping at this animal carcass. Ted, you're up. Are you ready? Heck yeah. Let's do this. Well, Ted, the design of your blade really digs in to the carcass. The hooks grabs everything that's in there and rips it right out. Balance is a little bit heavy, but it will do a lot of destruction. This weapon, sir, will kill. Awesome. Good job, sir. Thank you. Decker, it's your turn. You ready? Let's cut some bacon, Doug. Let's do this. Yes, yes. Well, Decker, your edges are very sharp. As you can see what it did, it pretty much wanted to cut all the way through. The feel, though, is a little bit rounded for the handle, but nonetheless, it's light. So I can generate more power to control it. This is a weapon that will kill. Good job, sir. Thank you. I'm going to pass things off to Dave for the next test. All right, gentlemen. It's time for the strength test. Ted, you're up. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. Three, two, one, engaging. You put a really good crease in the shield. And that's a heck of a chop you just dropped in that hardened oak of this barrel. A little bit of a roll right up here on this edge that hit the shield. And the shaft of the ax looks perfectly straight. Didn't flex at all. Well done. Thank you. All right, Decker, you're up. Let's tap a keg. All right, three, two, one, engage. Son of a bitch. Well, Decker, your spike sheared off right at that rivet point. Yep. Now, you put a good crease in the shield. So you put a good cut in the barrel. The edge of the ax here that hit the barrel, just see a little coloration, some shiny spots. The side that hit the shield didn't look like any damage at all. But. That spike coming off, well, that's a problem. At the moment when that spike fell, my heart just sank. Gentlemen, you both put in a lot of work on your Tabars, but in this arena, there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. Ted, you are the Forged and Fire champion. Decker, your weapon did not make the cut. Congratulations. Ted, congratulations. You are the Forged of Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Good job. Awesome. Thank you. I joined this competition to see if I had what it took to make a better weapon than three other guys. And I did it. And that makes me happy. Props for putting Forged and Fire on your yeah. plate. In Persian around here, it says caution, sharp edge. Nice touch. When I'm working with a bunch of guys I really respect, they're going to push the quality that I do. It pushed me a lot. That's what I, I, I enjoyed about it. Thank you.